Welcome back to Yoga for Golfers with Dr. Joe. Today we're going to talk about sore, achy, lacking mobility wrists. Most golfers have dealt with some type of wrist, forearm, or elbow pain at one time or another. And today we're going to figure out how to address it. So we're going to start elbows at your side, hands out front, and we're just going to bend and extend the wrist. With your elbows bent, you're not going to have a lot of muscle tension at your wrist, so this should be a pretty free movement. Gets the joint moving, gets the blood flowing, lets us get things warmed up. Next, we're gonna go into a wrist hinge. So we're going up and down. This is gonna look really familiar when you take your backswing. You usually notice that hinge up toward the thumb side of your wrist. So we have to make sure this motion works well. After a few of those, we'll go into circles. So we'll go one direction maybe 10 or 15 circles. And then we're gonna go the other direction. Again, we just wanna get the joints loosened up, the blood flow, and we're gonna get into some more intense stretches here in a moment. Next, same position, we're gonna rotate palms up, palms down. Back and forth, you might feel this a little bit more toward your elbow or toward your bicep even. That's because your bicep actually helps perform that motion when you turn your wrist up. Great. Now, arms out front, we're gonna bring our palms down first and we're gonna bend down and bend up. Right now, I want you to keep your fingers nice and relaxed. And I'm gonna go ahead and get a side view for you so you can see what it looks like. Great, now we're gonna go into that hinge position we talked about before, but this time with your elbows straight. When your elbows are straight, you actually get a different position for all your wrist muscles. So a lot of times this is when you'll start feeling that stretch that's a little bit more familiar with a muscular stretch. We'll go circles again. We'll go one direction. And back the other. Might feel some clicking or popping. That's perfectly fine. As long as it doesn't hurt, you can keep going. Great. Now we're going to add a little bit of intensity to the stretch. So one muscle that runs down the back of your forearm, it's gonna get stretched when you bend your fingers like this, and then drop your wrist down. So we're gonna bend down just a few times to start. Now let's do some holds. So you should feel a stretch somewhere across here. Come back up, bend your wrist back down, and stretch. Give you guys another view here. And whichever one feels better for you, if you just want to go up and down, that's great. If you want to really hold the stretch, again, listen to your body. You supply what it needs. Okay, now we're going to straighten the fingers out. We're going to pull the wrist back, and this is going to put a stretch across the bottom here. Now, you might notice some tension across the top of your forearm. That's not so much a stretch, but the muscle is actually working to pull your fingers up and your wrist back at the same time. And we'll go back and forth. Let's give you guys another view. This is kind of like a push-up position. So if you have a lot of trouble with push-ups because your wrists hurt, this is a great stretch for you to keep with. Again, and you just go until you feel like your forearms are nice, stretched out, loose, great pre-round mobility. Now we're gonna go into what's called a prayer pose. So just like you think, Palms flat together. You're going to bring your elbows up and you want to press together. And you might feel that stretch on the other side of your wrist again. Great. And you can relax. Press together. Relax. Now we can add a little bit of movement on it. We're going to saw with our hands. Back and forth. So now you're going to get this stretch applied slightly differently. It's going to touch the muscles a little bit differently based on the position. Let's do this for another 15 seconds or so. Great. Next, we're going to go down to our hands and knees. I'm going to zoom in for a closer, closer view. If we want to make sure our wrist is nice and mobile, we want to make sure that all the 
muscles, tendons, and ligaments are loose, but we also want to make sure that the joint itself moves well. And that's just what this next part is for. So go ahead and drop your hand right onto the ground. Put your weight through it. You can take your other hand and you're going to put it right on top. This is going to help keep your hand firmly planted against the ground so that you can move your body forward, which will take the bones in your forearm forward. And then you can take your body back and it'll take your forearm with you. So right now, what we have is a stable hand, but a very mobile forearm. And again, you might feel a little bit more stretch one way than the other. So if you feel like you get a better stretch going forward, feel free to come there and hold. When I go to the side view, you guys can keep working on the wrist like that. See here, and we'll rock forward and backward. Now the other thing we can do is rock side to side. You won't get as much motion side to side as you do forward and backward. So don't be alarmed by that. That's just normal human joint anatomy. You may want to go in some clockwise circles. Can stop, switch directions. You always want to focus on what feels good to your body. The kind of movements I need to do and the kind of movements you need to do are going to be completely different. Kind of like on the golf course, you want to swing your swing, not someone else's. Great. Let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Give you that face on camera view again. I'm going to go hand flat down on the ground. Take the other hand, put it right on top, and let's rock forward and backward. Remember, you can hold the stretch at one position if you like to, or you're free to bounce back and forth if you want to go for the overall mobility goal. Once you start feeling that loosen up, Go on to the next position and we can go side to side. Again, with all these movements, what you really want to make sure you can do is keep your hand flat on the ground so that's not moving. Just everything above it is. Okay, we're going to go around. This time I'm going to count, start counterclockwise just to change it up on this side. It doesn't really matter which way you go. And you might want to start with those circles nice and small. And then as you go and things loosen up, you can go bigger, then a little bit bigger. You just push as much as you think you need. Go the other direction. And you can take your time here, or you can move a little bit quicker, whatever feels best on your wrist. And you come up, shake them out, move around a little bit. Hopefully your wrists are a little freer after that. Thanks for checking in with the Yoga for Golfers. Be sure to have another video up soon.